So what's good with it y'all man, it's your boy Shuhi15, back with another video. The most common question that I get personally if I come to school with new shoes is, how do I get new shoes? Because the most common cases are, hey man, my check hasn't come in yet and I want to get these shoes. Where can I get them after the release? Hey bro, you know, I really want these shoes, but I don't want to get hit over the head with a resale price. You know any places to get them? Hey man, I know you know you, yourself about shoes, but look, this video is made for you guys. I can only help you so much. I'm going to give you my personal tips and tricks. If you do not like my tips, and I don't know what to tell you, I can only lead you so far to where you're going to have to do it on your own. So let's get right into it. My first tip for you guys would be social media. So your Twitter and your Instagram. There are sneaker accounts on Twitter and on Instagram that have restock information and release information. So what I do, I follow the accounts and I turn my post notifications off for them. So every time I'm in class and I look at my phone and a sneaker pops up, I can just slide it, unlock my phone, and hit the link and just buy the shoe right there, right on the spot. Most of the time when you do that, you're successful when you add straight to cart, check out, keep it moving, and you're on your way. The only problem with turning on your post notification, your phone is going to get blown up. So everything they tweet, whether it be something that you like or not, it's going to be shown up on your lock screen. It's just going to be constant notifications from Twitter, and it's going to be from those accounts. A few of the places that I use are Sneaker Shouts, Kicks Links, Kicks Finder. I'll make sure to leave those in the description for you guys down below so you can go follow them yourself. My next tip for you guys is local meetups, whether that be through apps such as OfferUp, Let Go, Let It Go, Let Go, whatever it's called, or even Craigslist. I haven't personally bought shoes off OfferUp. Just make sure you know what you're looking for because Someone could be selling you fakes and you wouldn't even know. So before you go and you want to buy a shoe, make sure you do your research. Make sure you look up pictures, reviews, etc. Because there are some pretty good fakes out there. And make sure you always ask to see the receipt because the receipt never lies. Another flaw on going to meet up places is the safety of yourself. If you want to meet up with the seller, do it in a public place so you know you're safe. Say you, you want to meet up halfway distance, make it fair on gas and all that other good stuff. Go to a Taco Bell, go to a Chick-fil-A, go to a McDonald's, sit there, maybe go 15 minutes early, get you something to eat while you wait for your seller, and just eat. When he comes in, exchange cash, exchange your shoes, walk out, everyone's happy. If your seller cannot meet you in a public place, I wouldn't trust that dude because that's kind of shady just not to walk in, hand shoes for cash and walk and go your own separate ways. Like you're not going to see this person ever again most likely. Another tip for you guys is Facebook groups. Now Facebook groups are groups normally local in the area and I could have put this in the last tip but they're somewhat different because in Facebook groups you can offer more than just your normal shoes that you can't get. If there's always Supreme, Bape and all that other hype beast clothing and other stuff that people would like that has something to do in the fashion type area. So with sneaker groups, the normally local generic areas, you can always hit up someone, you can message them through Facebook Messenger. You guys can bicker back and forth on price. Once you get down to a certain price that you like and that the seller likes, you can meet up in a public place and just keep it moving. I don't really use those kind of Facebook groups. I've never really used them at all, but that's just another tip for you guys. Like I said, some of them I've never used, but I'm trying to help you guys out whatever you feel comfortable with. It's your money, it's your sneakers, whatever makes you happy. And lastly, we have your certified apps. Your put you in the hospital with concussion because the prices are way too damn high apps. And those apps are StockX, GOAT, and eBay. If you don't know what StockX or GOAT is, StockX and GOAT are middleman programs. And what middleman programs are, say I want to sell you these for $225. You want to buy them for $225. But you know, 225 is a lot of money and you want to make sure you're getting the real authenticated shoe for cheap, for your money. Well, I know they're real, but you can't take my word for it because I could be just a scammer that's going to take your money, run away, and just do whatever I want with it. So what GOAT and StockX do, I send the shoe to StockX and GOAT, you hold on to your money, you place your order, and when StockX or GOAT get the shoe and authenticate it, it will charge your card and StockX and GOAT will send you these shoes and with a card saying that it's been verified. You should you have no worries on whether you're getting gypped or whether you're getting scammed off a fake sneaker and I don't have to worry about whether if I'm not getting my money or not. So it's just a good process. It will cost a little extra just because it's them and they charge a little bit for extra for shipping. But at the end of the day, it's worth it knowing you're not getting scammed and I'm not getting scammed. So we're both happy. We both get our, I get my money, you get your shoes. Just keep it moving. However though, you have eBay. Everyone's scared of eBay. I understand why, because like I said, two twenty-five, etc. Well, money's money. You care about your money. Your money's hard-earned. 
it's just, money's your baby. You need money. You don't want to lose your money for something dumb. And people get scammed over eBay all the time. But thanks to PayPal, you're not getting scammed. So say someone bought this shoe, or say I bought this shoe for $225, and someone sent me a fake, I can go through eBay, file a claim, and I can get my money back, and I can just send the shoes back to the dude, and we'll, that's it. I get my money back, he gets his fugazis back, and we just keep it moving. If you buy a shoe through eBay, just know that it might not get shipped right away. So make sure you read the little box below when before you buy it that says we'll ship between three and seven days. So if they don't ship it that same day or the next day, don't freak out, don't file a claim and try to get your money back. It's not that they're scamming you. People have jobs, people have lives, people have responsibilities to take care of, work, kids, etc. So this person's trying to get these shoes off and fit it in their schedule and a normal busy life. So just give them three days. After three days, you can sit there and ponder be like, all right, what's really going on here? And if you don't feel comfortable, then file a claim, get your money back, and that's it. But just wait, just just wait a little bit. Have a little bit of patience. You can get your money back. Just have patience on the seller's part. All right, y'all, that's it for this video. May remember, I can give y'all so much tips, but it's on you guys to follow through with them. If you have any personal tips that you'd like to share, make sure to comment them down in the comment section. And I'm out. Share with your mama, your daddy, your uncle T, everybody. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. Share with your friends. What else? Follow me on Twitter. All that other good stuff, man. This has been your boy, Shuhi15. I'm out. They out. We out. Peace.